After evaluating the current status of a customer's DS, it is obvious that some microcode needs to be upgraded. Assuming that several components need to be upgraded, what would be the proper action for these upgrades? Option A. Consult the fix list files. Option B. Upgrade the ESM firmware, controller and ZRM slash firmware, and then storage manager client. Option C. Consult the readme files. Option D. Upgrade the storage manager client, ESM firmware, and then controller and ZRM slash firmware. The correct answer is option, C. The customer wishes to increase the segment size of an existing logical drive. Where does he need to make this change? Option A. Array level. Option B. Subsystem level. Option C. Logical drive level. Option D. Controller only. The correct answer is option, C. After a maintenance action, a DS is powered up again but with the exception of the bottom most EXP. What will the DS do? Option A. Remain in an offline state until the final expansion enclosure is powered on. Option B. Place logical drives offline that use drives in the powered down expansion enclosure. Option C. Prevent host access to logical drives until power is restored. Option D. Fail the drives in the powered down enclosure once logical drives are accessed. The correct answer is option, B. If a customer wants to increase the capacity of a logical drive to GB without adding drives to the array, what must be available on the storage subsystem? Option A. Sufficient, unconfigured capacity in the array. Option B. Sufficient free capacity in the array. Option C. Sufficient unconfigured capacity in the subsystem. Option D. Sufficient free capacity in the subsystem. The correct answer is option, B.